Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I have a coloring book for you um, today that you might have seen floating around um, the groups. Images colored from um, this book has been showing up, popping up in our groups. I've seen it on two different channels um, being uh, mentioned and shown. But it is the Witches and Whimsy, an art therapy book by Lauren Clare. And Lauren actually reached out to me on Facebook and asked me if I would uh, like to have a copy of her book so that I could uh, show it and review it on the channel and um, post some images from it colored. And I said, I would be absolutely delighted. Thank you very much. Um, I was very flattered. First of all, let me just say thank you so much to Lauren because I was so flattered that nobody has ever offered me a coloring book for review before. Um, and the fact that the artist herself thought that I was, you know, my coloring was worthy of showing, you know, it off to the world. Uh, just made me feel really, um, really good to know that, you know, to think that somebody thought that much of me uh, and my coloring. And it's just also because it's a witch's book and I love that kind of subject material to color. It's one of my favorite things to color. I love witches and scary things and spookiness and fairies and different whatnot, like that fantasy art, I guess you'd say. So, um, so I said, yes, thank you so much. So I received the book in the mail and it is just so delightful. Um, Lauren Claire has a Facebook page and, um, she's also been in some of the groups. I've seen her in the something wicked coloring group or club. I can't remember. And then, um, also she has her own Facebook page, but, um, she shows images and she's also posted some free images to color from this book too. So be on the lookout for those. Um, but she did sign the book and I'm going to go ahead and flip through it. I haven't had a chance to color it yet because life has been very busy for me, but I have one already picked out that I know is my first, my first um, page that I'm really interested in. So here is just the page with a little bit about the artist and we'll get through flip, flipping. Now this also has um, double images. So the images repeat at the back of the book. So that's always nice. This is the cover image, obviously. Really, really fun. Three sprigs of sage whiskers and two dragonfly wings. I love that the images have a lot of open space because you can do what you want with them. And I saw Lauren say on her Facebook, in a Facebook post actually, that the reason why she did that is because she likes to draw uh, images for people to color to help reduce stress and anxiety um, and help them relax and work through, you know, whatever that, the, you know, their issues are and that the open spaces are less stressful for people. And I actually tend to agree with that. Um, I don't like necessarily the Zentangle um, quality of some books. Like I like the images, but then when they put all those tiny little Zentangle lines in there, I get a little bit overwhelmed and I have a tendency to just color over those. So this is really nice too. The fairy tears and the, the poison. Actually, it's funny because I showed my husband this book when it came and he goes, wow, this is a lot better. He goes, this is really nice. You know, he said it was, um, uh, like she was really talented, the, the artist, and he really liked some of the images, especially this one, because she looks like slightly alien inspired and, uh, he likes that kind of stuff. This one, to me, she's like a snow queen or something. We should get the necklace on. Here's a fairy. But I just, I really think these big spaces, they, they do, um, they're not intimidating to people and you can do so much with them. You can leave them just as a one dimensional color, or you can shade and blend and, you know, do different mediums and mix them together. The paper is, I would say the average paper that on um, most coloring books that you get on Amazon that are self-published or, um, it's kind of like that create space type paper. Um, but I think that's fine. You know me, I'm not a paper snob at all. I love this one. The Snake Lady. It's a really homey setting. Check out the man eating here. The man eater here. <laughs> I like this image also a lot because is she a good witch? Is she a bad witch? We don't really know. Very nice their gills here. It's touches like that that just really, really make these images uh, interesting, you know, different. This is my favorite one. 
I absolutely love this image. I love everything about it. I love the the fashion first and foremost, but I also love the teapot in the air. Uh, you know, her lifting that with her magic. I just I love it. I absolutely love it. But I love the fashion and I love just the hint of whimsical witchery going on up there. I think that's really neat. Kind of a scary girl there. Every time I see this picture, it it's like, where do you focus? Which eye do you focus <laughs> focus on? It's so different and fun. Now this image I have seen actually, Lauren. I believe she painted it on, and it's I've seen it on her Facebook, and she used shades of orange, and it looks absolutely stunning with, with the way she did it with her shades of orange, just gorgeous. I don't, I'm not sure she, she might if she's watching this video could comment in the section in the comment section below and, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe she painted it in shades of orange, and it's just absolutely gorgeous, just gorgeous. So here's a little critter. He looks like he's a mix of different things. I like this one too. This one's a little bit darker than the others and I like that because I like horror and things like that. So I'm kind of into that um, darker imagery. And then the images repeat. So it's so nice to be able to have two different ones. I love this one so much. It reminds me of Bell Book and Candle, that movie, you know, the old movie. I really like that. So, and then they go ahead and they repeat. So this is the Witches and Whimsy and Art Therapy book by Lauren Clare. And I will be coloring in this very soon. I actually intended to already have the little Victorian type witch done with her teapot um, levitating. I intended to have that finished already, but things have gone awry for me this week and I wasn't able to get to it. Also, Lauren is working on a second book right now that is more horror themed. Um, I think she told me that the images are going to be quite a bit darker than what we're seeing here and I'm looking forward to that also. But I really, really love these. There's a, a few elements in them that make them different than all the other witches books that are on the coloring book scene right now. And I think that's nice because, um, I really enjoy coloring witches and things like that, but sometimes you look for something, especially me, that's just a hint darker. You know, what can I, how can I make this a little bit scarier? And I, I find that in, in this book. I really appreciate it. I will be coloring images from it soon, and I will make sure to post them in my Facebook groups that I'm in um, and also on my personal page, and I will show them to you guys in my completed images videos. So um, I will link the where to purchase this video, or I'm sorry, not the video, the, the coloring book. I believe you can purchase it through Amazon. And then I do not know if she has an Etsy store with this available or if it's just individual pages that she has but I will investigate that and I will also post the link to that um, if she does have an Etsy uh, in the description section below so um, thank you so much for watching and taking the time but look for Lauren Claire on Facebook and um, like I said in the something wicked club I know she has posted coloring club she has posted a free image to color um, in that one and definitely check her out because it's it's really fun and some different imagery there than what we're used to seeing. So thank you so much for Lauren for sending me your book. I really, really appreciate it. I feel very flattered and touched that you would reach out to me like that. And thanks to you guys so much for watching the video. And I will see you in the next one.